Hi there, thanks ever so much. Afternoon, Antonio, how are you? Afternoon, everybody. I'm okay, Antonio, thanks. Great stuff. Antonio, I'm going to start off with, um, if I can, team news ahead of, a, you know, a huge game, North London derby at, at the weekend. Team news, you do have a, a, a number of potential injury concerns. Can, can you run us through team news and, and potential injury concerns? Um, yeah, as you know very well, and... Uh... We have uh, uh, many many injuries, and uh, and then there is always the uh, COVID the situation every day uh, that uh, you have to check, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, you uh, you find a surprise. Uh, yeah, but um, we are preparing the game against uh, against the Arsenal. I think in this moment, all the teams are. Uh, are suffering uh, uh, injuries problem, uh, uh, COVID situation, uh, and uh, international competition. Uh, and Tottenham the same. Tottenham the same. You know very well, and uh, you have seen the bench, our bench uh, there during the game against uh, against Chelsea, and uh, uh, you can understand that uh, we are in a moment that we are we we have to try to to recover. Uh, very soon, uh, the players that uh, are injured. Antonio, can I just, given the situation you're in, I suppose the the January transfer window becomes ever more pertinent. Can I just um, ask you know how hopeful you are of of some signings this window and and potential outgoings? If there's any update, perhaps on Stephen Bergwijn, for example. But uh, Stephen Bergwijn. Uh, uh, for example, is a, is a player that uh, he has recovered from his injury, and uh, he had the two training session with us. And for sure, is not 100% in this moment. He is not 100% fit, but I need to to come on the bench to stay with us. And uh, I asked him uh, his uh, availability for for uh, for the game against uh, uh, against Arsenal because for me uh, is uh, an important option. Um, after Son uh, was uh, was injured, and uh, in this moment we have only uh, two strikers at uh, Harry and uh, and um, Lucas, and then there is Bergwin, and then uh, also there is Scarlett that also him is recovering from uh, an injury. Uh, finally, for for me, Antonio, before I hand on to others, um, can you can you update us on the situation with with uh, Tangi and Dombele? Is he going to leave the club? But uh, in this moment, uh, Tangi Dombele is, uh, is a player, uh, is a Tottenham player, and uh, for this reason, and uh, you have to consider uh, him a Tottenham player. Thanks, Geraint. Uh, we'll go on Thank to James you. Savundra, please. Good afternoon, Antonio. Good afternoon. Looking at the opponents this weekend, Arsenal, do you feel like they're at a similar level to Tottenham at the moment? But um, uh, honestly, and uh, I, I want to play the game. I want to play the game and uh, to to understand very well. Uh, I think that they are working. Uh, uh, they have started to work, no, and uh, to to rebuild something important. Um, they had more, more time, no, no than us and uh, um, Arteta. Uh, has had the possibility to to work with uh, with the players for uh, for a couple a couple of years and uh, also to to go on the transfer market. I think that they are doing a good job. I think that uh, in this moment maybe and uh, but uh, for for this reason and uh, they are ahead no ahead in the project uh, than uh, than than us because they have started uh, before with uh, with the same coach. And I think that uh, now they are uh, they're having a good uh, good result. Arsenal is uh, is a really good team, but at the same time, and uh, um, we want to to understand. No, we want to play this type of game because we want to to know uh, how, how how much we are improving uh, than uh, uh, than the last period. What is more important for you this season? Is it to finish in the top four? Or is it to rebuild the foundations which you've been speaking about? 
but for me and the most important thing to 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 get the best out of my players and uh, i don't know uh, uh which uh, which uh, uh can be uh, the the final result but uh, for sure we have uh, uh, a path in front of us uh, very difficult and uh, we have to to start to to rebuild and uh, to to bring uh, Tottenham uh, in the correct position uh, 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 in the past, but for sure we know very well that we have to work a lot and uh, to change many aspects um, compared to the past. Thanks, James. Alistair McGowan, please. Hi, Antonio, um, I just wondered. You've been in the job now a couple of months. Did you think that the size? of the job, the size of the task you have at Tottenham was going to be as big as this? <laughs> and um, I, I decided to, to accept this, uh, this job because uh, and uh, 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 to work in this environment, uh, to, to, to work in a modern club uh, is, is good, I think, for every coach. Then, uh, as you know very well, but uh, I said uh, uh, I said this maybe in the, in the last press uh, conference that when uh, you are uh, outside, uh, you can imagine no the the situation. No? Then, uh, uh, when uh, you are inside of the situation, you understand very well every aspect. And uh, now uh, I repeat, it's time to 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 work. It's time to um, uh, I made my evaluations and uh, uh, about uh, about the situation. And uh, but now and uh, I think uh, no words but facts. And uh, we have to only to work to try to to improve the situation that uh, I I have found here. And can you give fans assurances that you're going to be? seeing your contract through to the end? Uh, I didn't understand. Will you be seeing your contract out till the end? The whole length of your contract? If I want to... In, uh... No, if you want to stay for the full length of your contract. Ah, OK. Yeah, but uh, you, you, know, you know very well and uh, um, that I signed the contract and uh, we, we agree. Uh, the Tottenham and, and I, we agree uh, the length of, of the contract uh, and uh, also because I think it was good uh, for me to, to see the situation, uh, also for the club to understand uh, the coach that um, they, 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 they are going to, to, to work. And uh, now I, I repeat, I'm enjoying, enjoying my, my time in, in Tottenham because I, I have found uh, a fantastic atmosphere and uh, uh, a great stadium, a great training ground. Uh, uh, our fans are uh, incredible because uh, they are always uh, back uh, to, to, to us from the start until the end. And uh, I'm enjoying my, my time in, uh, in, uh, in Tottenham. And for sure, and uh, <laughs> we want, I want to, I want to improve the situation because I think that uh, uh, all the people, um, we want to, to deserve much more than, uh, than this. Thanks, Alistair. Uh, Alistair Gold, please. Hi there, Antonio. Um, I just want to ask you, we normally, we see you on the touchline, you're full of energy, um, you know, you're, you're kicking the ball, every ball with the team almost. It feels like in the last week or two, you've maybe been a little bit quieter, a bit more subdued, maybe frustrated. I just wondered if you felt that was true, and if so, why? But honestly, I don't. I don't think so. And uh, you have to ask uh, uh, the referee or the four men if uh, I was uh, calm. I guess uh, uh, in the last game against uh, against Chelsea, I think that <laughs> he 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 will be surprised about this question. And um, uh, yeah, for sure. Also, during my management, uh, I have to try and uh, also to see, no, when uh, 
uh, a stay calm the uh, the answer of all my players and uh, I think that uh, also this is a, a strategy no because uh, uh, I can drive the the car but at the same time uh, sometimes and uh, the driver can stay sit and calm <laughs> and uh, I think that also is uh, is a part of a process no to try to to give more responsibility to our players and uh, for me and uh, uh, it, it, also, if I want to force myself to leave the the, the game in another way, it will be very, very difficult. But uh, I think also that sometimes I have to stay sit and to, to leave my players to, to, to make the best decision and also to, uh, to face the game uh, during the difficulty. And uh, as I said to you before, it's a part of the process uh, to to improve the responsibility, you know, uh, during uh, during the game. But for sure, uh, and, uh, I'm uh, I'm strong uh, and uh, I'll be very strong until until the end of the season. Fantastic. And can I just ask you, do you think you'll have any of your players back for this match that you didn't have for the last game? But uh, the, the players, the players. Uh, uh, Honestly, we had a meeting, no? We had a meeting after the game against Chelsea, and uh, I showed uh, them positive situation, negative situation. Um, I think that I, I have seen uh, improvement in the last game, especially in the game. Uh, if we, we, if you compare the first game against Chelsea in the second game, I think in the second game uh, we improved a lot. We created a problem to Chelsea. Um, we had many chances to to, to score. I think that uh, the final result was uh, was not right, not right. But at the end, Chelsea deserved to 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 reach the final. And uh, I spoke with the players, and uh, the players uh, um, they are in the same my line. And uh, I repeat, we want to improve. We we are seeing uh, the improvement. Uh, then, uh, as you know very well, you can improve, 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 but. And uh, you need time. You need time, and uh, to try to to improve the the the, the, the quality and uh, uh, um, of, of uh, also our play uh, to, to to improve. Thanks, Ali. Uh, time for one more in this section. So we'll go to Jonathan Veal, please. Hi, Antonio. Um, can I just confirm? Has there been any new COVID cases in in the squad? Uh, yeah, we are we are we are checking uh, uh, one situation. Okay, um, and will Eric Dyer be fit to come back in? And also, is Tangen Dombele available to play? Obviously, you left him out in mid midweek. But, uh, about about Eric Dyer and uh, uh, he's suffering uh, uh, um, a little problem and uh, a little muscular problem and is uh, uh, not fit for the game against the uh, against the arsenal and uh, yeah and uh, yeah, it's a pity I repeat and uh, now it's important for us uh, to to play these uh, three games before the international break and then to recover important players because for us i think uh, much more than other team is very very important to recover uh, all the players, uh, uh, important players. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's life for us to recover these players. Thanks, Jonathan. Uh, we'll move on to the embargoed section for 10:30 p.m. tonight.